Hola chicos, nos vamos a conectar en dos minutos. Let's get ready. Okay, so we're going to start with our class. Right here. Give me one second. ¿Me escuchan bien? Uno, dos, tres, sí? Buenas noches. Good evening. Buenas noches. ¿Qué pasa? ¿Qué pasa aquí? Vamos a ver. Ok, so we're going to start with our classes. Welcome everyone to the class. Muy bienvenidos a clases todos y todas. Right, we're going to start with the attendance. Comenzamos con la asistencia. Ana Alicia Valle de Molina. Ana Alicia. Brenda Yamilet Estrada Torres. Presente, teacher. Daniela María Ramos Ramos. Presente. Edwin Leonel Ordóñez Velázquez. Presente. Fátima Joana Tejada Candelario. Presente. Gerardo Antonio Colocho Cordero. Presente. Aide de la Paz Santos Vázquez. Presente. Jair Adonis Mártir Molina. Jonathan Alexis González Torres. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Juana Cristela Euseda García. Hola, buenas noches. Hola, buenas noches. Karen Janet Cruz Valiente. Presente. Carla Susana Mena Valencia. Katia Carolina Parada Trejo. Marina Vanessa Vázquez Romero. Presente. Miriam Arelí Romero Luna. Sandra Maricela Cepeda Alfaro. I'm here. You. Teresa de Jesús Ramos Santos. Presente. Verónica Esmeralda Martínez Dueñas. Verónica. Ok, very good. So let's just start, guys. Like I said, glad to see you today, right? 
Now for today's class, we are going to do, right, this, the following class. Let me show you the computer. This one's like that. Is how to use how many and how much. That's the class, okay? How to use how many and how to use how much. Como se usa how many, como se usa how much. Right, that's what we're doing for today. Now we start here with one small activity. This is review from yesterday's class. You are going to write three new words that you remember from yesterday. Tres palabras nuevas que ustedes vieron ayer. Okay? Tres palabritas nuevas. Yesterday we saw a lot of vocabulary. Right? Entonces ustedes van a escribir tres frases, tres palabras, tres lo que sea. <coughs> Lo que sea, perdón, que hayan aprendido ayer. Let's start. Escribámoslo, por favor. Lo pueden escribir en el chat. Ahí lo pueden escribir en su cuaderno y luego decirlo como ustedes quieran. But let's start. We have one minute. Vamos a tener un minuto. Pueden ver en la PowerPoint, ¿verdad? Yes. Okay, great. Yes. Here I have in the chat. Okay, many times. Okay, many times. Muchas veces. Purchase orders. Hello, teacher, Veronica. Eso no es palabra. No, ah, no, a mí me está escribiendo. Olviden eso que dije. Hello, teacher. <laughs> purchase orders. Dígales que era una purchase order. Schedule. No se compra. Se compra. Sí, orden de compra. Orden de compra. Muy bien. Many times. Rule of S. Once a week. Very good, Marina. ¿Qué más? ¿Solamente esas palabritas? Eran tres por persona. Tres por persona, vamos. Three for each one of you. Let's see, let's see. Timetables, I see your point, muy bien. Clap, aplaudir, raps, envolver. Once a week, una vez por semana, bienvenido. Clients, yes, clients, excellent. Rap, es cierto, ahí aprendemos. I see your point, very good. Type letters, very good. Plans, planificar, she plans, deeply. They plan timetable, va pegado. Timetable. Timetable. Exactly. A co worker. Yes. For example, idea is co worker with. Oh, ya no está Katia. Ni Santos. Okay. Olvídenlo. <laughs> Chanel. Sales agent. Okay. Agente de ventas. Sales, sales, sell, oops, perdón, perdón, sales, sales, age. uy, perdón, se la escribí solamente a Verónica, perdón, Verónica, no me lo paso, sales agent, ok, muy bien, so we have these words, right, that we learned from yesterday, then we continue, yesterday we were working with the, I take advantage Taking advantage of, take advantage to, to do something. Absolutely. Uh -huh. Yo lo diría aprovecharse tal, sí, sí, pero no. Right? Yo diría mejor, en vez de me aprovecho, I take advantage 
Eso es como sacar ventaja, ¿verdad? Tico? Sacar ventaja, soy más bonito. Es que aprovecharse se ve mal, ¿verdad? No sé, sí. quizás, quizás soy yo la que lo hay. I take Tomás. advantage. Ajá, yo tomo sí, ventaja. This, tomo this ventaja. Is... Eh. Mm -hmm. Very good, absolutely. Now, we're going to do this, right? We'll continue with the next activity. We were working with time expressions for regular activities, right? Time expressions for regular activities. What happens with time expressions for regular activities? We have examples such as every day, every week, every month, every year, right? So when we say every day, todos los días, right? What happens when we say every week? Todas las semanas, every month, every year. Right? Now, we can also use other words here like daily, right? diariamente, weekly, right? semanalmente, monthly, mensualmente. And we have another one that we can say also, look at the chat right now, please. Right? It's going to be yearly. Anualmente. Right, yearly, right, or annually. You can find both in the in, in the English language. But I'm gonna show you here before we go with the adverbs of frequency. I'm going to show you some other phrases that you should take a look at. We have these phrases, right? These are called adverbs of frequency. The adverse of frequency, of course, they tell us how often something takes place, right? The adverse of frequency, they are in the book. Estos son del libro, right? Este, no están así expresados en el libro, pero están en el libro, okay? Ahí lo vamos a ver, right? But you can take a screenshot. Pueden tomar una captura de pantalla y guardarlos. ¿Por qué se los traigo así? I put this right here because Right. When we see the adverse of frequency, when we use always, we use always for things that we do all the time, every day. For example, I always drink water in my classes. I always drink water right? because <clears throat> my throat hurts, right? I always drink water. I usually drink coffee in the mornings. Mentira, I always drink coffee in the morning, always, right? Then we go here with the others until things that we never do. That means 0% of the time. For example, I never, I never eat, uh, what? I never eat, Requesón, ajilla, you, guapala, right? I never eat requesón with tortillas. Mm -mm. What? No, I hate that. Damn. That, that is gross. Que feo ese volado. Okay. Then we have this adverse of frequency. I always, usually, normally, generally, Often, frequently, sometimes, look at this, sometimes it's 50%, right? Occasionally, 30, seldom, rarely, and never, right? So these two, esos dos se pueden usar así como que al mismo tiempo, right? No es tanta la diferencia de porcentaje, pero entre never y always, Podemos ver que es totalmente lo opuesto. Right? Look at the examples. I always wake up at six o'clock. Right? A hundred percent. Can you please read the next one, uh, Gerardo? Usually? I always wake up at six o'clock. Usually. 
I usually come home after work. Thank you so much. I usually come home after work. Normally, Teresa. I normally normally swing after no after school. Okay, very good. I normally swim after school. Af, af, after. After. After school. Good. After school. Janet, often. I often spend Christmas with friends. Very good. Thank you so much. Anna? I sometimes play tennis on the weekend. On the weekends. Thank you. Fatima? I occasionally eat Vietnamese food. Vietnamese food, exactly. Uh, Brenda? Mm, I seldom go to the library. 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 Exactly. I seldom go to the library. Right. Then we go with this one. Rarely. I did. I did. I rarely, rarely go to the movies, to the cinema. Yo antes de la pandemia iba todos los miércoles. Okay, I rarely go to the cinema, okay? To cinema or to the cinema or to the movies. You can say to the movies, I day it's correct. I rarely go to the movies. Está perfecto si lo dices. Now, uh, can you read this one? ¿Puedo leer esa, por favor? I rarely... I rarely listen to the radio. Listen to the radio. And the last one, Marina... I never listen to rock music. To rock music. Very well. Now, we have this. I will repeat the pronunciation of the other person frequency. Please listen to me, right? I'm going to do my best. And then, because we're going to be using them. Vamos a utilizar ese día, right? Always, usually, normally, generally, Often, some people will say often, it's correct. Often, often. Cualquiera que le salga mejor a ustedes, okay? Frequently, sometimes, occasionally, seldom, rarely, never, never, okay? Now, what are you going to do? Individually, right? Individually, you are going to write your own examples. De forma individual, vamos a ver si entendimos cómo utilizar cada uno de ellos, right? Entonces, vamos a chop chop, we're going to write, right? Vamos a escribir. De forma individual, un ejemplo por cada verbo de frecuencia. Now, it's a lot. Son muchas, ¿verdad? Pero... That's what we're gonna do. Because after that, we are going to share the sentences with our classmates. Luego de eso, vamos a compartir las oraciones con nuestros compañeros. Quiere decir que todas las oraciones van a estar con I. I. For example, if I say here, um, I sometimes go to, go to the park on weekends. I sometimes go to the park on weekends. I occasionally eat typical food on Saturdays afternoon, right? I seldom, I seldom travel by bus because I don't go out from my house. I always, I am always in my house. So I seldom travel by bus, right? So let's go ahead. Yo hice como cuatro ejemplos, miren. Ustedes pueden hacer más, más que lo que les estoy pidiendo. Individual work. ¿Se entiende lo que estamos trabajando? Yes. Very good. So let's start. Comencemos. ¿Ya tomaron captura?
¿Le tomaron captura de pantalla de, de, de los adverbios? Sí. Yes, yes. Guárdenlos, guárdenlos. Tell me when you finish, or tell me if you have questions about vocabulary. Si tienen preguntas acerca del vocabulario, también díganme, por favor. Teacher, tengo una pregunta. Yes. Este, cuando dice I always, siempre tiene que ir I always o puede ir algunas veces always I wake up. I, lo vamos a utilizar así como está en ese orden. Para Solo acostumbrarnos. Ah, Esa es la forma correcta. Uno de los más comunes, o el más común, mejor dicho, que podemos utilizar al final, al inicio o ahí en medio, es sometimes. Sometimes I go to the park on weekends. I sometimes go to the park on weekends. I go to the park sometimes. Teacher. Yep. Yo tenía una pregunta similar. Bueno, Diga. tengo. Eh, por ejemplo, en el caso de... Eh, I usually eat chocolate o I eat usually. No sé. I usually eat. Así como está. Sigue el ejemplo. Okay. Uh -huh. I usually eat. Su primer ejemplo está correcto. Sure. Uh -huh. eh, Can you repeat the pronunciation for rarely? I don't know. Rarely. Rare, I can't pronounce. Rare, rare, rarely. <laughs> rarely. Rarely. Okay. Rarely. 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 Okay. Exactly. But you. It's a new word. Es una palabra nueva, así que no se preocupe. Le va a costar bastante. Rarely. Did you finish? ¿Te terminaron? ¿Casi? Yes, teacher. Ok, Brenda ya terminó. Hay preguntitas aquí en el chat.
Okay, are we ready? Ya estamos listos. Listo. Yes. Aide and Brenda are ready. Okay, Ana is ready. Okay, let's go ahead and continue here with the examples, okay? Uy, no me miro. Now, we have Brenda, Ana, I did finish, Marina, you finish? Yes, okay, Karen? Yes. Juana? I'm finished. Okay, Daniela too, Fatima? Finish. Okay, finish. finish. Excellent, Teresa. Miriam Arely, welcome to the class. Hola, Gato, did buenas. you finish? <laughs> Me estoy como actualizando, queriendo entender. No se preocupe, estamos con el simple present. Eso estoy usted ya lo maneja. Así que no se preocupe. Solo estamos agregando <laughs> palabritas al simple present. De que estamos bien. <laughs> okay. Ah, de acuerdo. Y Teresa, finish. Jonathan, finish. Okay. Now, we're going to do the following. We're going to share the examples. No, no los comparto todavía, Juan. No los comparto todavía. Vamos a compartirlos con nuestros compañeros. Right? Now, what you're going to do is that you're going to share the examples with your classmates. You're going to listen to them. Right? Porque van a practicar pronunciación en estos momentos. Ay, por ejemplo, si yo escucho que yo estoy trabajando con Aide y Aide escucha que yo estoy pronunciando, por ejemplo, always, o estoy diciendo rarely, ¿ay? y si ella sabe la pronunciación, ella me puede corregir. ¿okay? Pero siempre y cuando, por favor, hay que, estar, hay que ser respetuosos para ayudar a nuestros compañeros. ¿Ok? Ahora, van a escuchar ahora los ejemplos de sus compañeros. Traten de captar uno o dos ejemplos de los que sus compañeros van a mencionar. Right? Y ya cuando los tengan, vamos a regresar a con todos los demás. No van a copiar los 10 ejemplos de sus compañeros, porque si no, llegamos a las 10 de la noche solo copiando los ejemplos. Right? Y necesitamos hacer otras cositas. ¿Se entiende qué vamos a hacer? ¿Sí? Entonces, si yo le, si por ejemplo yo le digo, Brenda, dígame una actividad, con always, porque es la más común. Okay, I always go to the gym at 4 a.m. Okay. She always goes to the gym at 8 a.m. Right? Cuando yo voy a reportar la información que Brenda me dio, no voy a decir I, right? Sino que cambio, hago el cambio a tercera persona. She always goes to the gym at 8 a.m. Right? ¿Entendemos qué vamos a hacer? ¿Sí? Yes. Escu Compartimos, yes. escuchamos, captamos uno o dos ejemplos, transformamos esos ejemplos a, a tercera persona y luego los comparten con todos los demás. ¿Ok? Vamos a trabajar. Start. Vamos a ir en grupos, veamos. Tan, tan, tan. ¿Quién se sale y quién entra cada rato? Me distorsiona todos los grupos. Hay alguien que entra cada segundo y se sale. 
Okay. Veras do. Verónica, si puede compartir sus ejemplos por chat, hágalo, por favor. Let us go. Let's go. We will be back in 10 minutes. Temprano. I normally drink coffee in the morning. Uh, I often visit my mother twice a month. Este, así es dos veces al mes, ¿verdad? Twice a month. Twice a month, yes. Okay. That is perfect. Hello, Tisha. Hello. Um, I sometimes eat pizza. On Saturday, I occasionally, occasionally, occasionally go to the park with my daughter. I seldom go to the La Unión. I, I, I rarely, ¿cómo se dijo? ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Rarely. ¿Así? Rarely. I rarely, I rarely watch terror movie. Sí, sí, es nuevo vocabulario para mí. Es que no sé si es get out o es live para salir de algún lugar, pero... Depende, ¿qué va quiere decir? De salir de mi horario de trabajo, o sea, I never live early of my work, Lo he generado la oración. Nunca no. salgo temprano, pero no sé si está correcto, o si coloco get out, or get over. No, get over es otra cosa. Mm. Uh -huh. Ajá, es que tengo esa, esa, esa duda de salir de un horario establecido, digamos. Libs. Es, es verdad, libs. Get out early from my work. Get up early get sería. Up early. Uh -huh. Or yeah. leave early. Or leave early. todos también. Entonces estaría bien. I never leave early of my work. I never leave early from my work. I never leave from my work. Okay. From. Is that in the chat? In the word, the off is from. Ahí está. Entonces sería, he never... Go to the gym. Mm -hmm. I sometimes go to the beach on weekend. Occasionally, go it, to TV. Sometimes, maybe. Sometimes, I sometimes go to the beach on weekend. On weekend. I occasion occasionally eat the China food. I rarely dancing. Um, I never the singing, singing on public. Teacher. Yes. Um, en esa donde dice, como yo lo puse así, I never the singing on public. Pero quiero decir como que no canto en público, pero no sé cómo es eso. Ah, yeah. Pero, ¿cuál es el verbo cantar? Singing. Sing. Sing. Solamente sing. 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 Uh -huh. Entonces al verbo no le agregamos nada más. Ok. Solo I never, sing. I never uh -huh. sing in public. Yes, in public. Es en o es. Okay. I never sing in public. In public. Uh -huh. 
Okay, teacher, thank you. Okay, repeat the oración. I never sing on, in public. In public, yeah. Nunca ponga yeah. antes de los verbos de singing, de, de studying, no, eso no. Okay, solamente va sujeto, verbo, complemento. Okay. okay. Teacher, the... otra cosa. Uh -huh. eh, um, seldom, en esa no me quedó claro. <laughs> seldom, ¿con, en, qué, ¿en qué porcentaje estaba seldom? En 10%, eh, quiere decir que casi uh -huh. nunca hacemos eso. Mm, I, ok, teacher. Never significa nunca. Uh -huh. Entonces, seldom, casi nunca. Casi nunca, ok. Thank you. I seldom go to the cine. And I finish my sentences. No está el otro con bien. Hay más. Jonathan no está, o sí. No. Pues no aparece por acá. Hola, sí estoy, estoy escuchando. Ah. <risa> Hello. Hello. Por ejemplo, sí, compañero. Sí las, sí las he estado escuchando, lo que pasa es de que estaba manejando hace un momento, entonces acabo de llegar. Ah. Entonces, eh, ahorita se los comparto porque los estoy terminando ahorita. Okay, Pero sí está. Que estás ahí. Ahí está, y ahí es el hola. otro. Sí. Jair. Hi, teacher. Hola, hola. Teacher, tenemos una pregunta. Pregúnteme. Eh, when you use the bear C and wash is different eh, significado. The meaning. The meaning. It's okay. different meaning. C. It's the natural reaction of your eyes. Okay. okay. For example, I see my laptop, I see my uh, cup of water, I see the wall, right? I see many things in my office right now. I see okay. my air conditioning, I see everything, right? But okay. when I say watch, right, is when you pay attention to something with your eyes, mm. right? Okay. For example, sometimes I watch movies after the class, right? Okay. So that's when you use watch. You can also say, I see the movie, I watch the movie, it's okay, right? But because you are using your eyes, but when you say watch, it's that you're paying attention. For example, you can say, hey, watch my kids. Right? Mira a mis hijos, pero no quiero que solo se los vean. Cállate, bichito. No. You want them to watch and pay attention to them. Right? To see what they are doing. Right? So that would be the difference of watch and see. Y si okay. ocupamos el eh, sí, si se pusiera en tercera persona. Sí. Solo oh, se le agrega yes. la S. Ya. Yeah. Porque terminen en ¿eh? Ah, okay. mm -hmm. Pero cuando es hablar de ver televisión, es better watch. watch. Yes, I watch television every day. Okay, very good. Jair, do you happen to have any examples? De casualidad escribió algunos ejemplos con los adverbios de frecuencia. Adonis. No, me acabo de conectar. Ay, Adonis. Vaya, está bien. Mañana los trae. Ok, vámonos, vámonos entonces. Yo creo que ya se terminó aquí. Let's go. Vamos, 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 vamos. Okay, so how was the practice?
¿Cómo estuvo la práctica? Easy. Easy. Easy peasy. Very good. Very good. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. I'm glad to hear that. So tell me one of the... Oh, bueno, no, no están todos. Esperemos a todos los demás. Démosles un segundito. Creo que todavía están practicando. Okay, ya estamos todos. We're going to share some examples. I would like to listen to uh, Brenda. Brenda, can you share one or two examples from your classmate? Yes. Uh, Daniela always drinks green tea in the morning. And she seldom washes the TV. The TV, okay. Daniela, you and I are very different. <laughs> okay, very good. Thank you. Daniela, share something from your classmate. Uh, Brenda usually pra practices surf on Saturday. And this is true. Oh, nice, Brenda. <laughs> I will see you at <laughs> the <laughs> and She sometimes visits her parents. Okay. She sometimes visits her parents. I was telling you, I will see you at El Tumbo. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Okay, go come with me. Yo ni nadar puede. Hay que más que no me vaya a ahogar ahí. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Daniela and Brenda. Now let's see, Cristela. Who were you working with, Cristela? Hello, teacher. Hi, Cristela. Estaba con Marina y Aide. Marina and Aide. Okay, tell me one about Marina and one about Aide. Bien. Marina. She occasional go, she occasional go to the park. She never drink alcohol. Okay. She often no. is... Tell me just one about Marina and one about Aide. No me lo digas los días, si no, no vamos a terminar. Uno sobre Marina y uno sobre Aide. Solamente one about Marina and one about Aide. Mm -hmm. uh, Aide. She always have breakfast at seven o'clock. Okay, very she, good. She one. meet my friend. Thank you. Yeah, that's two. Ya me dio seis ejemplos. Okay. <laughs> okay. Solamente debe trabajar Cristela con los, con terceras personas. Okay. Porque no le puede su tercera persona ninguna de las oraciones que me dio. Goes, has, todo tiene que ir cambiado. Marina, tell me one, one example about Juana and one example about Aide. Uh, Aide, uh, she never eat onions. Onions. <gasps> onions. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, Juana Cristela, fíjese que no escuché. No. <laughs> Cinco puntos. <laughs> <laughs> And, ¿cómo se llama? Aide always does exercise every day. Oh, okay, very good. Excellent, thank you so much. Aide, Cristela, and Marina. Let's listen to Ana. Ana Valle, who was with you? Le Leo was with me. And we have another, another classmate, but she has... She didn't have so audio, she uh -huh. She's in here right now. Yeah, it's Veronica. Don't worry, don't worry. Uh -huh. Tell me uh, about Leonel, two examples. Uh, Leo, Leo tell me that he occasionally read a book. Okay. And he told me that he rarely listens. 
<laughs> he rarely Ro listens to romantic music. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. And what about you? Tell me about Anna. Yeah, okay. Anna always say a bath in the morning. Uh, she often visit her father on weekends. On weekends. Okay, very good. Thank you, Anna and Leo. Thank you so much. Fatima. Hello. Hello, Fatima. Um, I was with Gerardo and Karen. Karen. So Gerardo, leave, Gerardo never leaves early from his work and Karen sometimes reads any book. Okay. Karen, some, Karen, repeat. Karen sometimes reads any book. Okay. I don't know if. Okay. Permita, permita me Okay. Karen sometimes read any book. Karen sometimes reads a book, a book. Okay. Okay. Any okay. is only used with questions and with negative sentences. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Fatima. Now, Gerardo, tell us an example. One for Fatima, one for Karen. Uh, the first, Fatima, she occasionally takes a taxi to hear her work. Uh, Teresa, she is out on gas. <laughs> Uh, to the gym. Teresa, no me ¿Cómo se me olvida el nombre? Karen. Karen. I'm sorry, Karen. I forget. Janet, mejor. Oh, Janet. <laughs> Janet, tal vez así no se me olvida. I forget your name. I'm okay, sorry. Repite el ejemplo de Karen, no de Teresa. Teresa sí, como ya le he dicho nada. Entonces es Karen, she, she seldom goes to the gym. She seldom goes to the gym. Okay, me too. Karen, don't worry. Okay, Karen, tell me about Gerardo and Fatima. Okay, Gerardo. He normally eats snacks late at midnight. Okay, snacks. Snack. It's snap. No, it's snap. 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 Okay. Snap es una foto. Usted lo va a decir snack. Es snack. Snacky, <laughs> snacky time. Snack. Snack. Uh -huh. Exactly. Like snack. At midnight. Okay. Very eh, Fatima. Eh, Fatima. She usually takes the bus for her work. Okay. She usually takes the bus to her work. Excuse me. Cuando ustedes se están moviendo de un lugar hacia otro, no van a utilizar for, van a utilizar to. I walk from my house to the supermarket. I travel from my house to the supermarket. The preposition ah, okay. to is a preposition of movement. La preposición to nos dice movimiento. Ok, so to. Okay, very good. Thank you, and teacher. You're welcome. We're just missing Sandra Maricela. Hi, teacher. Hi. <laughs> and Jonathan and Teresa, my co workers. Ah, we see what Teresa, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> she sometimes goes to the visit your mother on Saturday. Wait, wait, wait. He? Teresa is a he? She. 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 Okay. She. she sometimes. Go to the visit your mother on Saturday. And uh, Jonathan, he usually driving a car for your home. Okay. So Teresa visits my mother and Jonathan drives to my home. What? No, 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 no. No, 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 I tried no, to my no. home. Permítame, Jonathan. Permítame. No, no, no. Right. Uh, Jonathan, usually driving your car for my car. Your home. Mi no, your car. Uh -huh. Your car. Uh, my car. Conduce. 
Cuando no. ah, sí. Ahora, cuando usted está utilizando la, las, las eh, palabritas your, mine, son possessive adjectives. Los posesivos, eh, Marisela, cuando usted no, usted no puede utilizar your para todos los sujetos, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, mm -hmm. si usted me dice, Jonathan usually drives your car, cuando usted me está diciendo eso, quiere decir que Jonathan maneja mi carro. Eso me está diciendo ah. a mí. Jonathan está manejando tu carro, your car. ¿Okay? Pero no queremos <risa> decir eso. Queremos, a menos que sea cierto, ¿verdad? Ah, Brenda, Jonathan ah. is driving your car. O Jonathan usually drives your car, Brenda. Si fuera cierto, está perfecto. Pero si queremos Ajá. decir que Jonathan maneja el carro de él, como dice por ahí en la tele, televisión salvadoreña, suyo de él, right? ahí decimos <risa> his car, his car. Y si es de ella, her car. Por ejemplo, usted me dijo que Teresa visits your mother. Entonces dice que Teresa visita a mi mamá. No, a la mamá de ella. A la mamá de ella. Entonces, si decimos que algo es de ella, vamos a utilizar her. Her. Ah. Aide lives in her house. Right? Si usted me dice, Aide lives in your house. Yo, ¿Dónde está la Aide? No la miro. Right? Entonces, tenemos que ser <risa> bien cuidadosos con esto. A menos que sea cierto. Right? Si es cierto, utilicemos. Right. Okay. Very good. Thank you so much. Thank and you. Tell me, Teresa, the examples about Sandra and John. Teacher, solo tengo ejemplo de Sandra. Okay. Thank uh -huh. you. She, she always goes to the work at 30 past 7. Okay. She always goes to work at 7. Very good. She sometimes goes to the goes to TV on weekends. On weekends. Okay, she sometimes goes to the beach on weekends. Perfect. Thank you so much. Eh, Teresa, thank you everyone. Todos participamos, ¿verdad? Okay. Now we're going to do another exercise right now with how much and how many. All right, that's the topic for today. So I need you to pay attention, right? We have this, right? Much or many? How much or how many, right? Por favor, pongan atención, right? We're gonna start working here. ¿Pueden ver la pantalla? Yes, yes, yes teacher. teacher. Yes, teacher. Give me one second here. Un momento. Now we have this too, right? And we're going to see some examples. Now we have one question. Can you count these things? Can you count these things? Can I say one flower? Is that okay? One flower? ¿Podemos contar estas cosas? Can you count these things? Count significa contar. Can yes. you count? Yes. Can we say one sun, two sun? Sun means arena. Can we say one sun? No. No, 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 no. We cannot say no. one sun. Now, can we say one sugar? No, mm -hmm. we cannot say one no. sugar. Can we say one grape? Yes, we can say yes. one grape, one boat, two giraffes, two yes. lions, I guess, one cat, two cats, right? Can we say one water? No, right? Now, in English, in English, we have countable nouns, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? Countable nouns, sustantivos contables, And we have uncountable nouns, sustantivos no contables, right? 
countables, non countables. Right? Countables, non countables. Now, what we're going to do here, right? We have these are the things that we can count, right? Look at this. Here, they are flower, sun, rhino, boat, water, grape, sugar, etc. Right? But here we can count them. We can say flowers, boats, rhinos, grapes, but we cannot say sands, waters, sugars. Mm -mm. That is incorrect. Es incorrecto decir eso. Okay? So we continue. Pay attention. No escriban nada. Después van a ir entendiendo. Okay? No es necesario que escriban todas esas palabras. Solo pongan atención. Pay attention. Now, if you can count it, you are going to use many. So if I can count this, for example, I have cell phone. Can I count cell phone? Can I count it? Cell phone? One yes, cell phone? Yes, you can two count cell phones, it. Three cell phones, okay. So I am going to use the word many with this. Oh, too many cell phones in my house, right? Look at this, too many flowers, too many flowers. Then we continue. If you can count it, use many. This is in past, I ate so many grapes that I felt sick. For me, tantas uvas, so many grapes, many grapes, right? Quantas, how many? Many, right? How many boats can you see? Boats is countable. You can count boats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I don't know, I see like eight. I see eight boats. So how many, right? If you cannot count it, you are going to use much. Much, no much, much. How much sun do you need? How much sun do you need? Hmm. I need a lot of sun, right? I need a lot of sun. But you cannot count sun. Imagínense contar todos los planitos de arena. That would be crazy, right? Now, for example, there is too much water on the floor. We cannot count the word water, right? No podemos contar la palabra, la palabra agua o water. La palabra en sí no la podemos contar. Right? So we need to be very careful with that. Now we go here. As como un summary, un resumen. For countable things, use many. For non-countable things, we use much. Okay? For countable things, use many. Give me one example right now of a countable thing. Look at, look around. No importa si se equivocan y ven algo que es contable o no contable. Which one do you chairs. think? Is, what? Chairs. Chairs, very good. Many chairs, excellent. Very good. And what do you see there that you can use for much? Honey. Hello? <laughs> Mm -hmm. Much love, okay, very good. What do you say, Brenda? Honey. Honey, very good. Honey, love, right? Those are non-countable nouns. So we use much with them, right? Now, at, up to this moment. ¿Estamos bien hasta este momento? ¿Entendemos de qué estamos hablando? Yeah. Yes, okay, very well. Thank you so much. Now. We will continue here. And we see that in the book, 
we have on page 14, expression to ask about money, okay? Cuando preguntamos por cosas que tienen, que están relacionadas con el dinero, right? We use the word how much para saber cuánto cuesta how algo, right? How much do you pay in the trams? How much do you pay in the trams? 35 cents, right? Or 50 cents, I don't remember. Right? 30 cents, uh-huh. Yes, Leonel? A esta hora pasa lista. Thank you, Leonel, thank you very much. Vamos a parar porque sé que hay que pasar la lista. Thank you. Los que tienen su cámara apagada, enciéndanla, por favor. Ana Alicia Valle de Molina. Ana Alicia. Aquí estoy, aquí, here I am. Ok. Brenda Yamilete Estrada Torres. Presente, teacher. Cecilia Beatriz del Carmen Cepeda Soto. Cecilia Beatriz. Daniela María Ramos Ramos. Presente. Edwin Leonel Ordóñez Velázquez. Presente, teacher. Fátima Joana Tejada Candelario. Presente, teacher. Gerardo Antonio Colocho Cordero. Presente. Aide de la Paz Santos Vázquez. Jair Adonis Martir Molina. Presente. Jonathan Alexis González Torres. Here I am, teacher. Juana Cristela Euseda García. Presente. Karen Janet Cruz Valiente. Presente. Carla Susana Mena Valencia. Katia Carolina Parada Trejo. Marina Vanessa Vázquez Romero. Presente. Miriam Arelí Romero Luna. Presente. Sandra Maricela Cepeda Alfaro. Present. Uh, Teresa de Jesús Ramos Santos. Presente. Verónica Esmeralda Martínez Dueñas. Now, we're going to continue. Thank you so much for reminding me. Right. Ahora vemos. Si ustedes tienen la página 14 de su libro, perfecto. Right. You can see what I'm talking about. You're going to use these expressions, right, to talk about how much money you are giving to someone. For example, if I say, how much do, mm -hmm. how much do they charge for popcorn in Cinemark? How much do they charge for popcorn in Cinemark? They charge like $8, right, for popcorn in Cinemark, right? Or for example, if you have this, I'm gonna put this examples. I was sick last weekend, so I'm gonna put this, right? How much is it? How much is it? It's, I think it was like $1, I don't remember, right? Is it how much is it? It is $1, it is $1. You say, no me critiquen que están enfermos. How much is it? It is two dollars. Two dollars? I don't know. They don't have prices. Not enough prices. How much is it? Sienna? How much it costs a pair of shoes? How much? It, okay, how much a pair of shoes costs? Mm -hmm. How much a pair of shoes costs? You can say that too, right? Pero cuando usted solo ve a alguien o usted quiere comprar algo, right? Just, o está en la tienda, por ejemplo, usualmente va a... ¿Dónde es que nunca hay precios? Cuando usted va al super, right? Y usted va a ir a 
How much is it? Se le pregunta al cajero, how much is this? How much is it? They will say, oh, it is $1, it is $5, it is $100. How much is it? It is 89 cents. Like this is 89 cents. Now we have the questions. How much do you earn every month? How much do you earn monthly? I earned $5,000. How much earn? How much do you earn monthly? I earn $100 monthly. Right? So that's when you're going to use each of these questions, right? Now, entendemos cual, qué tipo de expresiones podemos utilizar cuando estamos hablando o cuando estamos preguntando o haciendo preguntas relacionadas con dinero o pagos, right? ¿Se entiende? Sí, ok. Teacher, yo tengo una pregunta. Yes, Karen. Eh, como, eh, bueno, aquí para pregun preguntar es how much do they pay, el, según, según el primer ejemplo. Uh -huh. Pero como estamos acostumbrados a las preguntas, do you o does, en este caso me confundo. Uh -huh. <ríe> Con el how much do. Usted le hizo correcta, how much do you pay. Por ejemplo, si... Si Brenda está ofreciendo un trabajo, right, ahí en, en el surco, right, me dice, ah, hay trabajo de secretaria, Silvia. Ah, oh, how much do you pay? Tengo trabajo para veterinarios. Right, I mean, ahí, eh, ahí, veterinarios, busa. Right, entonces le va a, el veterinario le va a preguntar, Brenda, how much do you pay monthly? Right, how much do you pay monthly? ¿Cuánto pagas mensualmente? How much do you pay? And then you say, si el veterinario va y le cuenta a Ana, le dice, oh, how much does she pay? Oh, she pays $300. Right? Entonces, ahí ya estamos utilizando la misma pregunta con base en contexto. Si usted va a utilizar they, utilice they. Si utilice you, utilice you. Si es we, también. ¿Ok? Va a depender sí. a quién se está refiriendo el sujeto. Eh, sí, no, pero es que mi pregunta <ríe> era, como estamos acostumbrados a preguntar, do you o does she o does he? Pero en uh -huh. este caso, eh, primero es how much. Empezamos por how much y luego va el do. Uh -huh. Ajá, y en este caso, ese do, se utilizaría como pregunta general independientemente para terceras personas no le entiendo la pregunta ah, a ver cómo le cómo le, es que vaya, como preguntamos cuando hacemos preguntas por ejemplo do you like eh, pizza ah pero, pero esas son estamos... preguntas de sí y no esas son ah. yes no questions estas ah, okay. son expresiones para preguntar acerca de dinero entonces estamos viendo expresiones en las que nosotros queremos saber el precio de algo, queremos saber cuánto paga alguien, cuánto nos están cargando por algo, cuánto gana, o cuánto es el costo que algo tuvo. Entonces por eso utilizamos how much. Ahora vamos a utilizar do o uh -huh. does. Ahí va a depender. Ah, ok. Esa es mi pregunta. ¿Se puede en esa misma este, regla? ¿Se uh -huh. puede utilizar el do o el das? Sí, dependiendo ah, okay. del sujeto que usted utilice. Como le decía, puedo decir, how much does she pay? How much does Brenda pay in el surco for the job? Oh, she pays $300. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. pues. Ahí sí lo voy a utilizar. <risa> sí, aquí está con day, o sea, con, como ves, solamente son ejemplos. Uh -huh. Ok. El uh -huh. do lo siempre que está en una pregunta, ¿verdad? Siempre no, pero cuando estamos hablando, cuando las preguntas son con, con los usos del simple present, sí. Ajá, eso es lo que todavía tiene dudas, porque creería yo que por ahí va la cosa de que por qué ocupar do y how much y todo eso, pero es por el contexto. Uh -huh. Es que las preguntas, estas son 
son eh, hechos factuales. Si usted le dice cuánto pagas, eso es algo que ya, es, ya hay evidencia de cuánto se paga. Es un hecho que no, no es algo inventado o una posibilidad. Si fuera una posibilidad, utilizáramos el futuro. Right? Pero en este caso estamos hablando del presente simple. Por eso utilizamos do and does. ¿Se entiende, Karen? ¿En qué parte está confundida, Karen? Antes de seguir. No, teacher, hoy sí ya la entendí. ¿Segura? Mm. Sí. Uh -huh. how, how, much, how much do you pay for... How much do you pay for your lunch, Karen? How much Ooh. do you pay for your lunch? Uh, eh, eh. <laughs> Al precio en, en two dollar or three dollar. Okay, I pay two dollars. Okay, I pay, okay. I pay two dollars. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. That's what you're mm -hmm. going to say. Ya en, la, en la respuesta ya no utilizamos match porque ya no se necesita. Right? Mm -hmm. Entonces ahora Gerardo me puede decir, oh, how much, I can ask her, Gerardo, how much does she pay for her lunch? Three dollars or she, two dollars. Uh -huh, exactly. She, pay, she pays three dollars or dollars, I don't know. Okay, or two dollars. Very good. ¿Ya ve? Entonces una es, va dirigida hacia usted y la otra yo le puedo preguntar a más así como hablando, ¿verdad? Cosipeando, chambreando, como decimos el salvadoreño. Gossiping about someone else. ¿Ok? Siempre, Thank you, Karen, for your question. Yes, brother? Yes. Siempre, y siempre vamos a cambiar el, el, el verbo si estamos respondiendo en tercera persona para no confundir. Ajá, exacto. Siempre cambiamos el verbo. Si es presente simple, siempre cambiamos el verbo en tercera persona. Correcto. ¿Sí, Aida? Es a um, kidding. How much do you receive for Bitcoin? <risa> Ay, no, yo eso no. no, no. Me aturdo. I don't like. Primero porque no entiendo, entonces no me quiere que tan después debo la casa, niña, y después me cae ahí sin computadora y sin nada. <ríe> sin un dólar. No. I don't understand that. Maybe later. Maybe. Tal vez después. How much do you, in that case, how much do you pay for bitcoins in El Salvador? I don't know. It's like $100. One thousand? I don't know. A lot. Now, let me show you this exercise. You saw the first example. Can you see the computer again? Yes? ¿Ven la pantalla? Yes. Okay, perfect. Yes. Now, we're going to see some examples here. Look at this, right? We have this. It says, how orange juice do you want, right? Now, we are going to decide if you're going to use much or many, right? Now, we, I'm going to show you the first one. How much orange juice do you want? Now, the word orange juice is countable or non-countable? What do you think? Not countable. Non-countable, non exactly. That's why we're using much. Right? Now, let's take a look at the next one. Look at this. Contable or not contable? Much or many? Contable. Many. How many? Many. many? Now, can you read the example, Karen Janet? With the answer? How many cookies do you eat? Okay, very good. How many cookies do you eat? It is Contable, right? Look at this. Much or many? Much. 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 There are too much people in line. Many people. Many people? Much people? No sé, veamos la respuesta. There are too many people in line because you can count the people, 
one person, two people, three people, four people, five people. People, people, oh, okay. ese uh -huh. es un sustantivo que aparte de ser contable, es irregular. No solo los verbos son irregulares, irregulares. Miren qué bonito en inglés. También los sustantivos son regulares e irregulares. Y person, one person. I have one person in my class. I have ten people in my class. I have too many people right now. Okay? So. Excuse me, I have a question. Mm -hmm. You already said that you have 10 people. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Yep. Mm -hmm. 10 people. Because you're talking about many people. Yep. No, I'm explaining that the word person is an irregular noun. So I say one person, 10 people. So it changes. Mm -hmm. Oh, now tell me about this. He put so, what? Much. Much. much, much. He put so much salt in the soup that no. uh, it tasted horrible. Right. Esta es mi comida cuando le echo mucho sal. He put so much salt in the food, in the soup, that it tasted horrible. So much. So much. Mm -hmm. The teacher gave us. Gave us. Gave us. Nos dio. Gave us. Too much or too many? Many. 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 Mm, no. Too much. much. Homework is a uncountable now. Yes. En español sí es contable, fíjese, porque es tarea. Uh -huh. Pero en inglés no es contable. Mm. Ah, ah, ahí me fui pensando en español. Ahí todos nos fuimos chupos. No se preocupe, yo también hace 15 años me fui chupo. Right? So we say homework, right? Homework is uncountable now. Right? So we say much homework. You say, I have one homework. Mm -mm. I have a few homework today. Right? So homework, we don't count it. Next one. Many. I many. saw, me, I saw, en pasado, el pas, este es el pasado de sí. I saw many tokens in the tree. Many. That's correct. Very good. And now we're going to try this example. Right? Look at here. These are questions, right? And try to choose if you put much or many. Right? Vamos a tratar de ver si podemos... Si ponemos much o si ponemos many. Ya se los comparto en un segundo. Ahorita, así. Bueno, ya está más bonito. Right? Individual work. De forma individual. Veamos si utilizamos much o si utilizamos many. Miss, excuse me, could you repeat the, the exercise? Yes. What do we have to do? You are going to put here, for example, in number one, you are going to decide if you're going to use much or many. For example, can you say, how many homework do you have? 
or how much homework do you have? Which is correct. But we're working in web page. No, in the exercise in on the screen. No pueden ver el ejercicio de la pantalla. Pueden ver mi pantalla de la compu. Yes, teacher. Sí, ese ejercicio estamos haciendo ahorita. No estamos trabajando en el otro ejercicio, en este de la pantalla. Ahorita en este, eh, Ana. Ah. Este ejercicio. Ah, ya lo vi. Teacher. ¿Sí? For the... Eh, when you use the... Um, work kids and women, women. Mm -hmm. For so example, I, I say one woman. Woman. Okay. One woman. Three women. Mm -hmm. Right? One kid. Five kids. One child. Mm -hmm. Fifteen children. Right. Y ahí va a cambiar cuando usamos el, si estamos preguntando how many o how or much. How much. Uh -huh. Pero como estos que le acabo de poner acá, todos estos son contables. Uh -huh. Thank you, teacher. Very good. I'm finished. Very good. Thank you so much, Daniela. What about the others? Finished, teacher. Excellent. Finish. Excellent. Cristela, Teresa. Finished, teacher. Very good. So let's yeah. share the examples here. Right. Let's share the answers. We go with number one. What's the answer? Tell me. Much or many? Much. 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 Very Much. good. Number Much. two? Much. 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 Number three? Many. 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 Uh -huh. many. Number four? Many. 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 Number five? Much. 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 Excellent. Number six? Many. 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 Number seven? Many. 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 Number eight? Much. 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 You're very intelligent. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> so we have there the answers for each one of them, right? We have much and many accordingly. All of your answers are right. Do you have questions about this exercise? Tienen preguntas acerca de este ejercicio? No? No, teacher. Easy peasy, right? Let's continue. We're going to do and work here. We see, we're going to see a conversation, simple conversation. Look at my computer, please. Vemos la computadora, por favor. Vean la computadora, la pantalla. Right? We have a conversation between Ruth and Josh. Okay? Now we're going to pay attention to the use of how much and how many, right? In two simple questions. Veamos el context, right? Hey, Josh, I have a question for you. Do you have paid vacations at your job? Yes, I do, Ruth. How about you? Me too. I have paid vacations. How many days do you have in your vacations? 20 days to be exact. How many bonuses do you have per year, Ruth? I have four bonuses. What about you? 
And how much do you receive? I have just two, but each bonus is for more than $600, right? Now we have the conversation between Ruth and Josh. I would <laughs> like to, no sabemos qué pasó ya. Now we have a conversation between Ruth and Josh, right? I would like to listen to Fatima. You're going to be Ruth. And Aide, you're going to be Josh. Okay? Let's do it. Okay. And uh, hey, Josh, I have a question for you. Do you have paid vacation at your job? Yes, I do, Ruth. How about you? Me, me too, I have paid vacations. How many days do you have in your vacations? 20 days to be exact. How many bonus do you have per year, Ruth? I have four bonuses, what about you? And how much do you receive? I have just two, but each bonus is for more than so, uh, I six, six, six hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. Very good, six hundred dollars exactly. Thank you. Now, Karen, you're gonna be Ruth. Daniela, you're gonna be Josh. Okay. Hey, Jos, I have a question for you. Do you have paid vacation at your job? Yes, I do, Ruth. How about you? Me too. I have paid vacation. How many days do you have in your vacation? 20 days to be exact. How many bonus, how say bonuses? Bonuses do you have per year? I have four bonuses. What about you and how much do you receive? I have just two, but each bonus is for more than $600. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Thank you, Daniela and Karen. Now I would like to listen to Sandra and I would like to listen to Edwin. Sandra, you are Ruth, Edwin, you are Josh. Okay, teacher. Hey, hey, George, I have a question for you. Do you have a pay vacation at your job? Yes, yes, I do. How are you? How are you? Me too. I have a pay vacation. How many days do you have in your vacation? 20 days. Yes, How many days do you have? Uh, yeah. I have a four bonuses. What what about you? And how much do you receive? I have I have two, two. But each bonus is for more than see on them. Okay, very good. Thank you, Edwin. Thank you, Sandra. Right, for your participation. Now, what are we going to do? Individually, we're going to write one question with how many and one question with how much. Simple, right? I don't want the answers, just the questions. Escriban su pregunta con how much y con how many. One and one. How many questions you will have? Two. Dos preguntas van a ser. Una con how much, una con how many. Okay. ¿Ya terminaron? ¿Sí? ¿Ya casi? Picture. Yes. 
is correct how much water in the ocean? Okay, in that case, we're going to say how much water is uh -huh. there in the ocean? Is there? Is there in the ocean? Ahorita no la escribe en el chat, Leonel. No, no, ya, la, ya la vamos a usar. How much sugar near? ¿Por qué me dice near? How much sugar do you need? Okay, teacher. Do you need? Yo pensé que me estaba diciendo, how much sugar, near? No, <laughs> I don't use sugar. <laughs> I don't like sugar. Ajá, ajá. ¿Ya terminaron? Yes. Did you finish? Very good. Now, we're going to do something very quick. Todos en sus preguntas. Up to some point, la vamos a escribir, obviamente, ¿verdad? Pero déjenme ver acá. Give me one second. I am here with you, but just give me one. No la escriba, le estoy diciendo. Le estoy diciendo. Okay, we how many people are there? Somos 15. Okay. I'm going to have three numbers, no, four numbers. Vamos a hacer un pequeño juego porque son las nueve y media y no tenemos sueño. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Da, 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 da. My favorite numbers here, right? And we're going to put something. No se duerme, no se duerme. Okay, now we're going to choose, tell me a number from 1 to 15, Daniela. Number 2. <laughs> I only have four numbers. I only have four. Solo tengo cuatro de quince. Right? So, Daniela, usted no va a sufrir sola, no se preocupe. Choose another Excellent. classmate. Choose another classmate. Mm. Vane. Vane. La veo okay. con ganas de participar. <laughs> okay. Ask, ask Vanessa the two questions. Okay. How I do you, How many giraffes do you see? How many? Giraffes. Giraffes. Do you see? I don't understand. How many giraffes do you see? ¿Cuántas jirafas ve? How many? Ah, uh, never. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't see. see. I don't see any. Any. Giraffes. Giraffes. Giraffe. Mm -hmm. I don't see any giraffes. Very good. Next question, Daniela. How much lemonade do you want? Uh, I don't like lemonade. Niña, como usted no se puede, todo bien negativo. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Daniela. Thank you, Vanessa. Excellent job. Give them an applause. Very good. Excellent. Now, Daniela and Vanessa, stay there. Please write your questions in the chat. Daniela, you too, Vanessa. Write your questions. Escriba sus preguntas. Okay? Now. ¿Me escucharon? Creo que se me trabó el Zoom. Ok. Write your questions, Daniela en Vanessa. Solo ya dos van a escribir sus preguntas. Seguimos. Ana, give me a number from 1 to 15 and it cannot be 2.
Me. What? I didn't hear. What did you say? Permítame, me voy a cambiar. Dime un segundo. Me voy a un segundo. Okay. Ahora, eh, Ana, give me a number from 1 to 15. It cannot be number 2. 13? 13. No, thank you. Gerardo, give me a number from 1 to 15. No pueden ser los que ya mencionaron. 5? Um, 5. <laughs> okay. Number 5. Very good. Choose another person. Uh, puede ser Edwin Leonel. Edwin Leonel. Okay, very good. Edwin, ask okay. your two questions to Gerardo. Okay. Uh, how much sugar do you need? How much? Sugar, do you need? Uh, I don't need sugar right now. <laughs> okay. Uh, how many? <laughs> how many do you girlfriends? How many girlfriends <laughs> do you have? No. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> it's not many. Okay. Many. Many this, huh? Oh, I have you... your question. Yes, how many girlfriends do you have, this Leonel? Uh, I have only one. Ya dijo many. Ya mañana le mándale el video a la niña, por favor. Okay. Hey, <laughs> okay, very good. Quedan Queda grabada la clase. Queda grabado. Queda grabado, Gerardo. Y sale en Facebook el video acá. Ah, y salgo yo en frente, bro. <ríe> ok, very good. Edwin y Gerardo, write your questions. Los dos escriben sus preguntas. Seguimos. Fátima, give me a number from 1 to 15. Um, 12. 12, no. Karen. Hi, teacher. Give me a number, Karen. Uh, <laughs> eight, seven? Seven. No, Brenda. Zero. I know. One to 15. No, ni <laughs> uh -huh. Ten. Huh? Ten. No. I did? Oh, oh. <laughs> Estoy conociendo. Any brothers do you have? <laughs> Give me a number. I did from 1 to 15. Okay, Three. Uh -huh. Three. No. Thank you. Se salvó. Sandra. Give me a number from 1 to 15. Uh, nine. No. Mari eh, no, Marina es tú. Leonel. Miriam. Give me a number from 1 to 15. Three. Three. No. Alexis. Hola, hola. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh, un número. Sí. Uh, ocho. Eh, eight. <laughs> eight. Okay, very good. Eight. Jonathan, choose another person. Okay, give me one second. Uh, uh, hello, my question is how many workers? Who is asking? Who is asking? No, I don't mention anyone. I have to mention someone. I don't know the names. Look at the names on the screen. Okay. Ahorita los veo. Mela, porfa. 
Ya sé, pregúntele a Aide. Ana Está Valle. Ah, ah, no, Aide. Ana. Una Ana Valle Ana... y una Aide. Una okay. pregunta a Ana y otra Aide. Ahí. Ok, uh -huh. we're going to start with uh, Aide. Uh -huh. Aide, hello. Hi. Aide, Um, nice to meet you, Aide. My question is, how many workers are in your job? Uh, how many? Workers. How many? Are in your job. How many workers are in your job? I think there are uh, almost 100. A lot. Okay. okay I mean, very good. Thank you. Now, can you please now, ask Anna? Anna, are you here? Yes, I am. Nice to meet you, Anna. My question is, how much is the price of your house? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so can you can you tell me something? One Bitcoin. Uh, 100. Uh, the, one my Bitcoin. house, it costs 100. 100, okay. 100, okay. The rent is Thank 100, you. okay. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Anna. Thank you, Aide. Share your, your questions, Anna, Aide, and Alexis in the chat. And the last people here, Miriam, give, and Miriam, you already told me number. Teresa, give me a number. Now, just to finish. Yeah. 11. No, ya me dijeron ese. Ah, 7. Sí, ya me lo dijeron. ¿Me puede decir el número antes del 7 si quieres? Mm. Eh, 9. Ya me lo dijeron también, solo el 6 queda. <laughs> ok, Teresa, si sí, eso lo se queda. Can you please ask the questions to someone? Two questions. Uh, how much work in office? ¿A quién está preguntando? Uh, ah, no. Este, eh, tiene que ser alguien que no haya participado. A cualquiera pregunten en este momento, no hay problema. A ah, 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 Cristela. A Cristela, Cristela. Uh -huh. Cristela. Cristela no está. Ya no contestó. Qué raro. Uh, Karen. A Karen, ok. Karen, pay attention. How much work do you have in your office? Do you have in your office? Uh -huh. I, uh, so much <laughs> work. Okay. I have so much work in my office. Very good. I have so much work. I Excellent. Have. So much work. Very good. Mm -hmm. uh, how many do you books? The lectura. Es how many? ¿Qué quiere preguntar? Es como si ella lee el libro. ¿Cuántos libros de lectura? How many books do you read? Okay. ¿Cuántos libros lees? How many books do you read? I read any. I don't read any. Uy, ya la voy a poner a leer. Yes. I don't read any. Uh -huh. I don't read any. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. Now, we have the examples here with how much and how many. I have another example from the book, right? If we go to the book, right, we go here where we have the expressions to ask about money, right? 
Cuando vamos aquí a las expressions to ask about money, we go to page, ya les digo qué página nos vamos. Vámonos, go to page 14. Go to page 14 on your book. This is, let me show you the book. This is the book, right? We are in this page. We, we just practice the conversation between Ruth and Josh. We have the expressions and now, ya sabemos cómo hacer preguntas con much, how much and how many. Now we are in this exercise. We are working with the questions that we have above, right? To answer the, this. These are the answers, we need the questions. ¿Qué preguntas le pondrían a cada una de estas respuestas? We have four, how much do they pay? How much do they charge? How much is it? How much do you earn every month? Right? We're gonna use those to answer this exercise. So let's do that. Page 14, página 14. Vamos a ir a la página 14, por favor. Todas y todos ahí. Y decidamos en qué parte va esa respuesta. ¿Se entiende qué estamos haciendo? Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. Very good. Tell me when you finish. Finish, teacher. Finish, teacher. Yes. That is very nice. So let's see the answers here. Sorry. What would you have in number one? Right. Tell me the answer, Karen. Number one. How much is it how how much it is how much is it ah uh, perdón is it how much is, is it? it how much is it okay it is 10.50 it is then okay that is correct thank you so much now let's go with number two what do you have in number two who has the answer me okay marina how much do you earn every monthly do you earn monthly every or monthly? every month una de las dos va a utilizar eh, monthly no how much do you earn monthly very good very good how much do you earn monthly okay i make 545 monthly. Do you agree with her? I do. That is correct. Right? That is correct. How much do you earn monthly? I make 545 monthly. Now, let's continue with number three. Who has number three? Number three. 
¿Quién te da la número tres? Uh, how many, uh, how much do they charge? How much do they charge? How much do they charge? Good, 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 good. How much do they charge? They take $23 per item. That's too much. Okay, very good. And the last one. Miriam, what do you have? Miriam Luna? Esa no la hice, Lee. Mm, Miriam. Voy despacio. Voy despacio, okay. How much do they pay? How much do they pay? How much do they pay? Y miren acá, necesito que se pongan atención. La pregunta dice, how much do they? Y luego la respuesta dice, the company pays 690 with bonuses. Right? Un call center is that? Okay. Now, when we have the, the question here, how much do they pay? ¿Se acuerdan ayer de los collective nouns que hablamos? Right? ¿Se acuerdan de esos? Entonces, aquí aplica esa fórmula. ¿Ok? Cuando decimos, por ejemplo, nos podemos referir a la familia, podemos decir they, pero luego lo hacemos un, un sujeto colectivo o un collective noun. Right? Y ponemos the company pays. Right? ¿Por qué? Porque es la compañía. Pero sabemos que dentro de esa compañía hay varios sujetos ¿sí? que están envueltos. Por eso es que aplica hacer la pregunta con they y la respuesta hacerla con el collective noun que es the company. Right? That's why we have it like that. Right? Porque no podemos decir how, uh, how much do it pay? How much does it pay? Sorry. How much does it pay? Porque en realidad acá si dijéramos How much does it? Sabemos que it se refiere a una cosa. Y una cosa no nos va a pagar. Pero cuando nos referimos a la compañía, sabemos que nos estamos refiriendo a los sujetos de la compañía. ¿Ok? Thank you so much. Now, do you have questions about this? Any other question? Hmm. Los miro dubitativos. No? No questions. Okay. Si tienen más preguntas después, me dicen, right? So this one is correct too. Thank you so much, Cristela. That is correct as well. Perfect. Now, we have the answers for this. We're going to continue working with our last two exercises, with the last exercise here, right? No, I don't like this exercise. I would like you to look at the book here still, right? In the book. We are going to, vamos a irnos un poquito atrás, right? In the book here, on page 12, 12, 12, 12, we have this exercise, right? I want you to complete this with this exercise, with this verse. We have the verb call, have, check, wake up, work, and go. Right, the word go is you're going to use it three times. Right, la palabra go debemos utilizar tres veces. Right, so let's try to finish this exercise right now. Right, remember that you're using simple present. So in the first one, for example, it says from Monday to Friday, Dominic. What would I write here? Which verb is best? Huh? Go. Go. Yeah. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Okay. Wake up. wake up at 5 a.m. Okay. Now, when I use wake up, I leave it like this. Dominic, wake up. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. Wake, wake, wakes wakes up. up. Yes. Mm -hmm. Exacto. A eso vamos. Dominic wakes up at 5 a.m. Perfect. Now we're going to continue with the others. This exercise is very easy for you to complete, right? So let's do it. Recuerden que la palabra go la van a utilizar tres veces. Dominic is she or he? Is a she.
This is she. Dominic, yeah, it's a she. Es cierto, yo conocí un Dominic, mujer y un Dominic hombre. Tiene razón. But it's a she. This one is a she. Tell me when you finish. Mm -hmm. Finish, teacher. Thank you. Finish, teacher. Excellent. Let's check the answers very quick. Okay, so I have wakes up. She. What do we have next? She goes, goes. She goes to work, and when she gets there, she checks, checks, checks her email and calls, calls, calls all the clients in her daily list. Lisa and Claudia work, 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 exactly, work, right? Work with Dominic. They they go go go. They go to have to have okay to have lunch together. Very good. At four p.m. Dominic goes 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 home. Excellent. Yes, that is perfect. Check your answers. Right. Now, tell me if you have questions. Do you have any questions about this exercise? No hay preguntas. Todo claro? Okay, perfecto. Entonces pasamos a asistencia en estos momentos, ya que todos tienen las mismas respuestas. Right, and we are going to call the attendants right now. De nuevo, por favor, encienden sus cámaras, es importante. Ana Alicia Valle de Molina. Presente. Brenda Yamilet Estrada Torres. Presente. Cecilia Beatriz del Carmen Cepeda Soto. Cecilia Beatriz, no. Daniela María Ramos Ramos. Presente. Edwin Leonel Ordóñez Velázquez. Edwin Leonel Ordóñez Velázquez. Edwin Leonel Ordóñez Velázquez. Presente, teacher. Ok, thank you. Fátima Joana Tejada Candelario. Presente. Gerardo Antonio Colocho Cordero. Presente, teacher. Aide de la Paz Santos Vázquez. Jair Adonis Mártir Molina. Presente, teacher. Thank you. Jonathan Alexis González Torres. Presente, teacher. Thank you. Eh, conseguimos Juana Cristela Euseda García. Presente. Karen Janet Cruz Valiente. Presente. 
Carla Susana Mena Valencia, Katia Carolina Parada Trejo, Marina Vanessa Vázquez Romero, Gracias, Miriam Arely Romero Luna. Presente. Thank you, Miriam. Eh, Sandra Maricela Cepeda Alfaro. I'm here. Thank you. Teresa de Jesús Ramos Santos. Presente. Eh, Verónica Esmeralda Martínez Dueñas. Thank you very much. So guys, we have finished for today's class. All right, I will see you tomorrow. Ahí lo veo entonces eh, mañana. And today is the day four. Ahora, este día solamente se queda Cecilia Beatriz del Carmen Cepeda Soto. Los demás nos podemos ir. Nos vemos mañana. Bye, bye. Good night, bye, everybody. Bye, teacher. Bueno, Cecilia no está. Si alguien se quiere quedar, se puede quedar también. Bye, bye.